This way. Big, big sister. She's my sister. We're your family. And now, this alternate universe female version of Kamui must make her choice. And, being an alternate universe where everything is opposite, she picks the opposite. She chooses to fight with Noor. This powerful out will allow you to test your skills and devise complex strategies while progressing with limited access to experience points and gold. And I am so thankful that the amiibo battle turned out that way and female Kamui was the one who went with Noor. Because man, she has much better stats than the male and she is gonna need them. So glad the better stat Kamui ended up here. Embrace the dark. And now, yes, it's fully roses. And now, it's time for pain. This Kamui knows what she must do. <sighs> yes, perhaps there can be some way to avoid bloodshed here. It can't be. I'm so sorry. Yes. She can't betray her family. What? No, you haven't you haven't met them for yourself. If you knew them for yourself, you know that not all Norians are vile and her cape is clipping through her hair, but that's beside the point. Really, Garen is the real enemy here, and perhaps we can still fight him. I can understand why Ryoma thinks this way, but it's only because he hasn't known any Norians who are nice. Maybe if he just got to know Xander and the others in more peaceful terms. No. Yes, exactly. They're not her brothers and sisters by birth. But yeah, they're her brothers and sisters in her heart. God, no. Ryoma, they're not all monsters. So this is the whole thing. This is the reason why Mikoto's death kind of had to happen. It gives you a real reason for not siding with Noor, but in this case... Uh, Ryoma... In some ways, they are to blame for that. And in some ways, that... what you're saying makes a lot of sense. But unfortunately, yeah, she can't abandon her family. Everything's okay. See, the interesting thing is here that, um, the conflict is quite different. Ryoma's, Ryoma's feelings of betrayal just don't feel as personal as they do with Xander, because Xander's someone who actually knows the main character and grew up with them, so his feels a little more heartbreaking. With Ryoma, sure, you're betraying him and stuff, but you never really knew him, so if anything, it doesn't hit as hard. What really hits hard with this path is the fact that you're siding with Noor after knowing what they just did involving killing those civilians in Mikoto. So it's more of an ideological conflict rather than a personal one. Yes. But they're still family. See, if anything, this feels a little bit more heartwarming and reassuring, but again, you still have that nagging doubt of... I'm still supporting people who just did, well, what happened in Chapter 5. But perhaps we can convince Xander to go against his father. Oh dear, no he won't! Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, I kind of figured as much. What? Listen. Yes, there was. Oh, if Xander doesn't know about that, that adds an interesting layer of depth to this. Exactly. Yep, Kamui would be dead if it wasn't for that. And yeah, this got pointed out on the Hosh on the um, Hoshido path as well. But he but this is really interesting. This adds quite a bit of depth to this because Xander didn't know. That means that Garen lied to him too, and that gives him a real personal reason to go against his father. Well, yeah, clearly Garen probably does have his reasons, but what he did is kind of unforgivable. Kamui needs to find out the truth, and the best place to find the truth 
is back to where it all started. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the path back to where it started is through one very grieved samurai. Well, perhaps at least he has an intent to kill her. Huh? Show no mercy. Oh no. That's a pretty cool line. And that is another good point too. Oh. Oh wow, those words are harsh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Xander, I hope you can do better than him than you did last time. Stand down. At least he's ordering him to stand down. See, this is something that I kind of feel. I honestly feel the Nor siblings as characters are more sympathetic than the Hoshiden siblings. And that's what ma what's most interesting about this choice. I've kind of said it before. Hoshido's cause is more sympathetic, but in some ways Nor's characters are more sympathetic. Besides Garo and Iago and... Hans. I've been waiting for this. Ooh, big words. Let's see you back them up. Ugh. Yes, she chose this of her own free will. And yeah, this as well, it's just that, uh, I hope Ryoma realises eventually that, um, that Norians aren't all bad. Hope this plot goes the way of Xenoblade Chronicles, I guess. Let us begin. No. Yes. Please, just, just stop this. Yeah, there's already been too much death. We can avoid any more. No. Unfortunately. Know this. Oh, exactly. If we did stop now, then yeah, then they'd they'd feel like they had the upper hands. With that, they might try invading us for real, and then uh, then the tide would be turned, and we'd be the ones on the receiving end of aggression. True. Well, you've done nothing wrong, but Garen certainly has. It'll work out. At least we're on Elisa's side. I see. Come on. Huh? And the ones we were fighting alongside before are our enemies now. No mercy. I'll help too. They're fighting for revenge. You have my pity. Yeah, that, I'm sorry, that reminds me of a Murray quote now. Yes. Failure is no option. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Let's do this, family. You have breathed your last. Prepare yourself. I am not Ike. Allow me to join you. And this time, we have Stiff Upper, upper Lip Man. The map also looks a little bit different, too. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I had a few slight issues involving um, tasks and potential knifing of people's faces, but I'm here now. Let's keep a stiff upper lip, Jacob. Defeat four enemies? Well, that's certainly different. And Yukimura's here. This is different! Holy, although Hinoko is strong. Wait a minute, let's see how many enemies there are. Okay, there are five enemies here. The army of Hoshido. And Kamui's allies. Oh, no, 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 no! It's worse! That's why her stat's so high, she's paired up with Takumi the Broken. Yikes! And we don't have an archer of our own to help take her out. So our mission here is to defeat four of them. 
And there are five. One person will be spared. Who will that be? Wow, Hinoka, you are scary. However, we've got our own scary siblings on our side. Yeah, I had the feeling Camilla's magic would not be that high when we really had her. That was a boss bonus. Of course it was. Meanwhile, Xander is quite strong and tank-like. Unfortunately, he got kind of destroyed by Ryoma last time. We'll have to take advantage of this as best we can. Especially since I do not like the idea of that duelist blow working. Thankfully, he's not going to get the benefit of Bushido. Should we send someone to support Xander? Last time we fought in a battle against uh, Ryoma, when we were controlling Ryoma, it ended badly for Xander. Oh, he's got the Shelter Command too! I guess that must be a Cavalier skill then, not a Great Knight skill. Question here is how we deal with that deadly combo. 17 speed plus Takumi, the blamed one. However, we do have our Dragonstone. It may not be able to make follow-up attacks, but it will grant us better defense. Perhaps enough to... Oh, wow, wow. Whoa, Fort... Okay. 14 might. Okay, that thing is freaking insane. However, we do have Brunhilde. 10 might. Of course, last time... Takumi totally owned Leo. However, Leo has a bit more HP than last time from the looks of things. Will those stats help out? I kinda doubt it. I think Takumi will double as well with the speed boost from Hinoka. Yeah, that's the real question. I actually am gonna have to fight this pair up at least once because I need to defeat four enemies. Gonna have to think about this much more smartly than the Hoshido version of this route. Let's see. Plus three speed, though. That might help. Also, now would be a very good time to chug that HP tonic. Sorry, I'm just... I'm thinking about this. Though the Yato is a katana, so lowers our defense and resistance, but boosts our speed. Avoid minus three damage taken. Perhaps you two are the best hope against these enemies. Let's see, I do want to take those those ones out quickly. Very quickly. You know what? Oh, gotta be careful, Yukimura's got a bow. Also gotta be careful, Takumi has a bow. Uh, yeah, that's not good for Camilla. But I do want to gang up on them as much as I can. And that possibly means... Okay then, let's go. Boost to that magic will likely help out. But let's switch over for that uh, Lily's Poise bonus. I'm going to concentrate most of my forces on these two. They seem to be the big threat here. I will leave Ryoma to Xander for now. But I don't want that Duelist Blow. Xander was on the receiving end of some pretty serious pain before. Actually, let's see something. Yeah, Camilla should stay away from that. That's not good. Definitely showing how the Nor route is going to be harder. I wonder if pairing up will be useful for those two. I might end up regretting this, but let's try. Tag team! Okay. Let's see. Oh, your damage is a little less than I thought it would be. My hit rates are not great, though. And thankfully, I'm in guard stance to cancel your dual strikes. Bad end of the weapon triangle, that's not good. Oh! Oh, a new staff! I didn't notice that! Freeze Staff, range 1 to 7, reduces enemy move to 0 and avoid by 20 for 1 turn. 70% hit rate, that's not bad. Will make you automatically hit. 
I could freeze Ryoma. That's not a bad way of handling him, actually. First, though, I think for now, it's probably best to go for this. So sorry, Hinoka, but we've got to do this. Okay, good, you hit. That's going to help out. Hopefully, Takumi won't do so well on his own. Hinoka, I'm so sorry. What's the meaning of this? We're not betraying you. We're so well, we are betraying you, but we're siding with who we feel is our true family. Big sister. No, it's that simple. I'm sorry, Hinoka, but our family bonds are too strong to lose to you. It's over. Oh no. Q Mega Man X4 flashbacks. Mean oh, oh that's cool. He gets dropped on the bridge because that river is something is terrain that he can't reverse. Well, with your speed down that much, you won't be able to double us at least, but that Fujin Yumi is terrifying. Oh wow, that hit rate! That hit rate is not good. Not good at all. But I don't want to fight this battle on Ryoma's terms. However, if I fight this on Camilla's terms, it's not good. You know what? Okay, here's my plan. Here's my plan. Here's my plan. I think freezing him is the best course of action. Okay, thank goodness he doesn't have Astra. That would be terrifying if he did. Uh, Zan has got, got a lot of power behind him, but his accuracy is pretty bad. Will Xander sully his honor? No, he will not. Thankfully, Xander does not get doubles. Uh, hi there, Takumi. Yeah, you never trusted her, did you? Yeah, it did lead you to heartbreak, but... There must be some other way we can do this. There has to be. Yeah, no way you're hitting that. Okay, Elise. Can you do this? I think I feel safe attacking... Um, I think we're fine against Takumi here. Although daggers lose to bows, which I don't want to be doing around Takumi, because apparently Takumi is broken. I know I keep saying that, but yeah. Don't want to be on the wrong end of the weapon triangle against him. And, well, I guess that's only fair. Thankfully, we can get out of his range. So how's Leo versus Takumi? That's an alright matchup, fairly even for both of them. Speaking of which, this matchup is not even... Wow, I've got a better hit rate against him? Probably because his resistance is worse. If I, if it's like anything like early Fire Emblem games, status affecting starves, um, their hit rate is based on resistance. Did that miss? Are you kidding me? Oh wait, no, it hit. Okay, that's good. Move zero and his evasion is massively down. Let's smash him. And this hit will hopefully give me a guard stance out of this. Oh, I need two solid hits on him for this to work, though. So I'm going to have to f keep him frozen for a while. Well, at least his hit rate's a little better here. Your damage is higher, though. Oh, I knew that would miss. Ah, oh, Takumi. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, Xander can afford to take one more round of combat. He should probably get into those forests, though. Oh, Xander's got an elixir. Excellent. Okay, I'm not worried about him at all. What I am worried about is Takumi. However, yeah, I think I pretty solidly got this. Just got to watch out for Yukimura.
Although her skill is slightly worrying. You know what? I'm actually going to do something else first. Have at thee! This is for Kamui. No experience for a royal, but... So that... Wait a minute. I have a lot higher hit rate. Uh, I'm not adjacent. Huh. I'm not entirely sure why my hit rate is so much higher here. But I've got a guaranteed shot of taking him down if I use um, Jacob. However, I feel like all the experience is worth it for... Worth it for Kamui. You have not uh, sorry, brother. Defeated by you? Ugh. Yes, defeated by your little sister. Older sister, actually, I just realized. She doesn't look older. Unfortunately, I fear this isn't over. I have heard the boss fight with... Oh... I've heard the boss fight with Takumi on the Nor route is particularly brutal. I'm not looking forward to that. Speaking of things I'm not looking forward to... Elixir time! Camilla hasn't really had a chance to fight, but then again, if she doesn't gain experience, that is kind of a good thing. At least I'm marginally lowering your accuracy. Nope, nope. Sorry, Xander. You need to work on your hit rate. It's more like he has massive evasion. What's Siegfried's hit rate? Oh, it's, it's still 80, and your skill is decent, almost on par with his. He just has a heck of a lot of evasion. Huh, here's the real question. I could, if I was feeling particularly pragmatic, ignore Ryoma and just destroy Yukimura and Sakura. And just destroy Sakura, but I feel bad fighting Sakura. I think... I mean, seriously, we want to convince these people that Norians have honor too, so... We're going to not fight the healer if we can avoid it. Uh, do bows? No, no, shurikens beat knives? No. Bows beat knives. I think bows beat... Yeah, I'm pretty sure bows beat knives. Oh, wait. Before we do anything else... I'm sure you'll be able to get your freeze off on Ryoma soon. Notice Xander's elixir only has one use. Okay, let's see how well Jacob does against Yukimura. I mean, admittedly, I did predict that Yukimura would be... Uh, yeah, not quite. I predicted that Yuki... Oh, hey, we have a full guard gauge. Me uh, no reason to not try this. Well, I mean, not technically full, but once I do this attack, I do get full guard gauge. So yeah, no reason to not go for this. I quite like this fight, it's a lot more satisfying than the Hoshido version of this chapter. Yukimura! Oh yes, bows do beat knives! Yes, it is lamentable. Finally, someone with sense! Okay, that puppet animation is pretty cool. He is a little bulky though. Sakura, don't heal him. Oh no, Ryoma went in the woods, that's not a good thing at all. Yeah, almost no chance of hitting him there. Sakura, you better be ready with that freeze staff. Up, oh, just out of range. Okay then. Well, Yukimura has equipped a bow. Oh yeah, he's. But if I do this, or and the dragon stone hits less hard than the Yato, because female Kamui has a massive strength stat. Yeah, I do not want to risk Jacob getting two-shotted. But what I could do is let Yukimura have the first move, then I'd be able to weaken him with, um, with, uh, Jacob, and then actually finish him off with Kamui. That sounds like a good plan. Meanwhile, over here, we're going to get Ryoma out of that forest now. I believe <laughs> Funny, you have weapon triangle advances, you have worse hit rate. I thought you look more like you were throwing a dagger than, than shooting a bow. Ryoma, you can't hold out forever. Sooner or later, Xander will hit you. But not this time, apparently. Sooner or later, Elise will freeze you. 
Let me just check something though. Okay, it seems like staff accuracy is not affected by proximity like it was in the earlier games. I think earlier status staffs had a higher chance of hitting if you were closer to the target. 75 is still a little unreliable. But that's even worse! Lunge? Wait a minute, that's a different skill, isn't it? Lunge. After attacking, switches positions with the target. Not too useful in this situation. Kind of good if your enemy's on a fort, though. Yeah, Xander by 1% has the best hit rate here. Though I need to make sure that Camilla... She's going to get kind of brutalized either way, but she needs to equip her tome and not her axe. Just in case this fails and Xander goes down and she needs to, needs to be the one to finish Ryoma off. Farewell, Ryoma. For now. I don't think it is over. Well, only one enemy left to defeat and we know who that is. Once again, I want to prove that Norians also have honor, so no defeating the defenseless healer. Sorry, Yukimura. You're the only one... You're the only one here who has any sense, but unfortunately we have to find you. No. Yeah. Exactly. As such, you are obliged to fail miserably. Uh, uh, the puppet is still moving. You know, now I think about it, Yukimura really reminds me of Sias from Fire Emblem 5. Like, major tactician for who's either playable or on the enemy side, who gives a hit bonus to everyone on... Now I think about it, yeah, Yukimura basically is Sias. Except, um... Japanese inspired. And so it's over. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I hope you can forgive her for this, but she has to side with her family. Yes. This is exactly what we plan to do. For everyone, we will end this war. For Nor and for Hoshido. We will do that. Wait. Although I get the feeling that this has doomed the Hoshido siblings to death. Azura? Ryoma now becomes the Kamu archetype of the game. Hey. Huh? You. Yes, we're sure. Yeah. It's the only way to stop this from once and for all. I see. Oh! Azura doesn't join on the Nor route immediately. I know she's playable on both routes, but this is a surprise. Azura. Also, Kazir, I'm sure he's playable on Nor as well. Guess we'll meet again later. And once again, we have this movie. Though we've already seen the Nor version of the opening movie, so I'll just actually skip it this time. To make up for it, that battle went on longer than the Hoshido version. And... Oh. Hi there, Lilith. Hey. <laughs> yes. Yes, she is. She's also a fish now. <sighs> Well, hey, don't call her a beast. Yes! <laughs> hmm. Kamui would like to show you something. So she can look at your face. Oh. Yep, we're in my castle land. But this castle looks a little more western style, given that we're on the north um. route. The astral plane. And yeah, little the same same things she did last time. Thank you. Blah blah blah, Dragon's Vein, blah blah blah. So I'll probably be um, showing less of this than I showed of the Hoshid on my castle, because I won't really be having to explain everything in my castle, basically. But I will be doing some supports, I guess, for what few characters we have. So I guess we'll get the Nor file there. And now. Here we are at sunset in my castle in the astral plane. So, what can we build here? 
Oh! Three- we can build a Kamui statue! Raises the cap on the player's boons out by one, this will be strength. I think just that the Kamui on my other on my other file was not high enough level for this. Oh, it's free too, that's great! We shall erect a mighty statue of the face looker. Where should I put this? Uh let's see. How about here? This looks like a good place to put some statues. Allow me to explain. And so Jacob is the assistant here. Let's see what the generic villagers look like this time. Eh? Oh! Rubber bow! That's totally gonna help us! Is there a plan? <laughs> uh, I guess there is a plan. We shall build. I'm gonna need all the healing I can get on the Nor route. Definitely building a staff store. Where should I put my shopping district this time? Uh, oh, how about down here? There's a, there's a lot of space here. Lots of space here. Yep, here's the shopping. Go, gonna be the shopping district. And let's see. Chevoir style or Nestrian style? Uh, I'm not gonna do those because I don't know what Chevoir and Nestia even are. Oh, we can have a troubadour. That's better than a generic villager. Or a generic soldier. Again, marginally better than a generic villager. Also, I have a name that I want to give my Norian castle, and that would be... I'm going to call this place... It's a reference, and it fits with Kamui's love of faces. So we now have the face shrine. Also, let's see what music we have. Yes! Yes, this song! I love this song! Hmm. Okay, Quiet Burnt in both of them. Road Taken is in both of them. Oh, I, I do. I like this song. I quite like this song. A uh, Norian one. That's cool too. I love the Celtic inspired music on the Nor route. Oh, I like this song, too. Hmm. This is interesting, because we have music, no matter which side you pick, you have a style of music we've never really had for Fire Emblem, like Celtic or Japanese. Oh, that must be the Battle Preparations theme. It sounds pretty much the same, though. Definitely having that song, because it is amazing. Anyway. Oh, I love this song so much. Yeah, yeah, street pass, blah, blah. I think we've done everything we can there. Might as well check our path bonuses. I won't use those for now. Kamui statue. Raises cap on strength. Let's see, can we get a good look at that? Kamui statue? Uh, that... Yes, the likeness is certainly uncanny, sarcasm, sarcasm. Yeah, definitely an uncanny resemblance. <laughs> okay, here's the records hall. Okay, we have the support log is for everyone that we've um that we have in our game, not just on this route. That's cool. Oh, okay, right. Uh, I I promised that I'd show this. I love that conveniently placed hat that blocks make showing Kamui's gender. Ah. <laughs> Never trust a cursed sword. I'm fine. 
and that's basically um, all that's changed. So yeah, the voice the voice clip of Kamui there is different because you know female Kamui. Anyway, you know what? We did the hover test the last time. Let's do it this time too. Let's see. Unfortunately, we only have two characters available. Uh, so what's your relationship like? Kamui, you pervert. You know, I wouldn't put it past her. She she likes she likes looking at people's faces. And marrying them so she can touch them. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, no real characters we can really Oh, we got a sapphire mine. Can't feed that to Lilith though. She's not that kind of dragon that eats gems. Dairy. Maybe we could feed her some milk though. Oh, on the Nor route, she's got Astral Breath to start with instead. Deadly to those who live in just one world. Hmm. Does that mean it's effective against people who haven't bought both routes? That's kind of jerkish. Yes, eat that milk bottle. Eat the entire bottle. It is delicious and good for you. Apparently, eating glass increases your speed. Oh yeah, last time she felt smarter because she got her magic increased. That's nice. I would say whose face will Kamui look at today, but we all know there's only one option because, well, there's only one person here. I'm sure she already has a C support with Jacob, but let's do this just in je uh, let's do this anyway. Hello there, Jacob. Pleased to be of service. It's very lonely here, isn't it? Just Kamui and you. So, no one can say it's weird. I'm always here for you, at your beck and call. That Kamui is inviting you into her room to stare at your face. So, well, I guess you'd be in high spirits if you were living in a castle with only two people and then you talk to the one other person who was there. Ah, oh, it's so lonely here. Again, so lonely here. One... Oh look! Who could that possibly be? Yeah, I get the feeling that Gunter is not really dead. Anyway... Let's do the only support we have access to at this point in the game. The truth is, you'd like to learn how exactly you make your upper lip stiff? <laughs> um, you know, you do realize that Kumui is a dragon, so in a way that's kind of racist. Yeah, so Jacob's kind of like a foil to Felicia. Jacob is skilled at basically most things, but very unsocial. Felicia's very social, but not skilled. <laughs> oh! Why do I get the feeling this this support it just feels so familiar to me? I don't know if it was this was Crom and Frederick or if it was there was some support where someone is like, I want you to not be looking after me all the time. <laughs> uh okay then. Yes, yeah, I think you're exaggerating, Jacob. Oh. Well, that's interesting. That... we are learning a little more about him. Yeah. Guess we understand why he's so indebted. That's, I guess, some... I guess it was his loyalty, but it was just like... I always felt that Frederick's crazy obsessive loyalty towards Krom, it just wasn't really explained very well. I like this better. There's actually there's an actual reason for it. Heh. 
Oh, I don't think you're able to make tea as well as someone who has a British accent, just saying. Oh, that's nice. Except, considering Jacob's very high taste, he probably would not like it if she made tea for him. Oh no, now he's going to be even crazier about his devotion. Wanted domesticity. <laughs> yes, tea is very dangerous, especially... I, I feel like Jacob would be the kind of person who could weaponize tea. Yeah, I think he pretty much... Might be. Yeah, this could end badly. <laughs> Apocalyptic. <laughs> she might end up making Mystery TX, and then Jacob would have to use that as a weapon against Faceless. But anyway, yeah, this My Castle is very lonely. I think we should change that. Next time on the Nor route, let's make some new friends to populate our castle. And, well, see what's up with Garen. And maybe he'll send us on an, off on an expedition that tries to get us killed. But at least we'll make some friends along the way. And that's what matters, isn't it? Yeah, what matters is not having just two people in the castle and the other one being a butler. It just feels so lonely. Anyway, see you guys later.